Right, guys, I am going to keep this as serious as possible with you because what just happened today with EA and with FIFA as a whole is absolutely groundbreaking and genuinely could be the entire downfall of EA. So basically what happened today was there was some code that got leaked into the web app that allowed people to basically give coins and players and packs and whatever they wanted into their own clubs and just, just put players into their own club. But not only that, there was some code that was leaked that is seriously concerning and should actually make you wonder whether or not you spend another dollar with this company. Let's get into it. Right, guys. So looking at this first screenshot, uh, I don't know who this is or where the screenshot came from. All I know is it was flying all over Twitter. Uh, and I actually got screenshots from other streamers and from other viewers of mine who were sending me screenshots of basically them being able to go into their own account and be able to add coins, add anything they wanted. So quickly looking at this, basically all you have to do, you can, it's a drop down here. You can create a pack. You can determine whether or not it's untradeable. And then you can add as a pack on your account. And then you can add players into it just by typing in the names. All you have to do is just type in the names of the players. Uh, you can add coins, add points, you know, um, coin balance and FIFA points. All you have to do is just add, just literally click add and you can probably, I'm assuming it opens up to another menu uh, that gives you a, a, a thing where you can type in an amount. Uh, and then you go down here, free coins, free packs, create player pick items, add consumables, reset daily gift and trigger a capture. So basically I'm assuming what that trigger, trigger capture means is is essentially whenever you are on the market sniping and doing whatever and they want to trigger a capture test on you, all they do is click that button on your account and boom, there you go. So this is basically the back end of what EA sees in every single one of our accounts. And not only that, it gets even worse from here. Looking at this right here, this is the back in one of the older FIFAs, the older FIFAs where you could trade players. Um, I don't, I'm assuming this is what this means, but this has to do with trading, uh, no access, blacklist, whitelist, gray list, and maintenance. So whatever all these things mean, that shows that trading is in the game. And if you go over into my discord, there's a thing right here that says trade offers enabled. So you can actually do trades with other players. They just haven't enabled or disabled it. So I wonder if that's how they did, uh, did basically the, um, the icon shade they were calling him, uh, the guy that was switching, um, bronze players and other people's players in their clubs into icons and stuff for money, whatever it was, the whole rumor going around. I wonder if that was how they did it. So going on to the last bit here, let me see if I can zoom in on this slide so you can see this. So basically going into the last screenshot of this, uh, and then we'll kind of break down everything and explain it. This is essentially a tag. This is a, a tag in the code that basically EA can add to your account. So it says pack odds, low percentage localization threshold. So essentially what this means, this is a tag that EA can add to a pack or your account. One of the two It's definitely a tag of some sorts and they either add it to a pack or add it to your account. And basically what it means is that you will just be completely like the opposite of what we call the red list. They will be the exact opposite and you will have zero pack luck whatsoever. You will just get shafted pack after pack after pack. And here's where this creates a lot of legal issues for EA. Essentially when you have a game such as ultimate team i'll show you quickly here so when you have a game like ultimate team you go over to the pack probabilities and you see these things right here uh 75 plus player 100 gold 82 plus player 17 percent and gold 84 plus player 4.7 percent essentially these numbers are thrown out the window how all the preaching that they did saying that these were accurate pack percentages so on and so forth the minimum probability whatever this is all garbage. This is 100% made up garbage just to make it feel like you actually have a chance of packing a good player. And here's where this is the legal issue in this. Basically, if you say to a customer that you have a 4.7% chance of packing an 84 plus player or, you know, or higher, and you actually have no chance of packing that player, and it's just a 4.7% as it just a whatever, then that, that's beyond illegal. That's false advertising and misrepresentation that is going to lead to tons and tons and tons of lawsuits towards EA. And in the grand scheme of things, as long as you have opened a pack on FIFA, you would be eligible to get into that lawsuit. So I'm curious to see as to how this unfolds, because basically, if we go back to the first screenshot here that we uh, we were looking at, basically, you literally can do everything in your... So if you message an EA employee and they said that you, you, or you said that you quick sold a player or whatever and you can't get him back, this is essentially what they're able to do. Will they do it for you? No, but when they say they can't do it, this is essentially what they're able to do and they just won't do it for you. So guys, it's just a short video today just explaining all this information that we just got dealt. It's been flying all over Twitter where basically, to sum everything up, EA are 100% manipulating pack weights. 
Um, they're able to control what goes in and out of your club. Obviously, it's their game, but they're able to control it in a much more scary way than we would like to admit. Um, so they're able to control every aspect of this game, and it's it makes it from essentially where you open a pack. It's a complete lottery system. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be entirely random. They've been completely entirely taken that out of the game um so yeah i don't even know where they go from here to be honest with you uh, i don't know if they can go forward I, I really am i'm concerned for the future of ea sports and for fifa because this is groundbreaking information i can't actually believe I'm, I'm beyond stunned that this information actually got released to the public uh and whoever it was that leaked this from ea well done uh hats off to you thank you so much for exposing this information to the uh the community um and yeah i'm assuming you're fired by now so uh best of luck with the job search guys if you are new to the channel make sure you smash that follow button also subscribe to the channel uh i will make a new video on this every time we get an update uh, of any sorts really um any 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 new information that comes out i'll make a new video uh but i think that is it for today thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in the next video peace fellas